Hi, I'm Brian Johnson. Today we are going to discuss the installation. I want to help you walk through uh, converting a machine from R22 over to Blue on TDX20. Blue on TDX20 is a near perfect drop-in refrigerant as far as I am concerned to replace R22. So the installation process is very simple. Removing the R22, pulling a vacuum on the machine, and recharging it with TDX20. Obviously, if you're working on a three-ton machine, you can get that done in three to four hours. If you're working on a 200-ton machine, it might take you a couple of days. Depends on the amount of refrigerant in your system. Installation is quite simple, so let's go out and get started. You'll need the following tools and materials. TDX20 cylinder with accompanying TDX20 installation procedure and PT chart, recovery cylinder, vacuum pump, safety glasses, stickers, and a scale. First, you want to make sure that the system is operating correctly. So take baseline data information on the R22 machine before converting it to TDX20. Recover 100% of the R22 in accordance with EPA guidelines. Weigh and record the amount of R22 recovered as you will need this information later. After you recover all the R22, replace the filter dryer with an HFC refrigerant dryer. Check and replace seals as necessary. Place your system into a vacuum. Evacuate to 500 microns. Allow the machine to sit for seven minutes. If it doesn't exceed 1,000 microns, your system is clean and leak-free. The charging process differs between adjustable metering devices and fixed metering devices. Don't forget to invert the can several times before installing it as a liquid. For an adjustable metering device, start your charge at 80% of what was recovered. TDX20 is a blend so the PT chart has two columns, bubble point and dew point. Refer to your baseline data. Add TDX20 to match your factory subcooling. Adjust the TXV for your superheat, which should also match your baseline data. As a special note, sometimes the TXV needs to be turned two, three, four times. On fixed orifice devices, Start your charge at 80%. On smaller systems, 10 ton and under, add any additional charge slowly, 1 to 2% at a time or a half a pound at a time. The system responds very quickly to changes. Continue to monitor the superheat and subcooling to obtain proper pressures and temperatures, which will give you optimum performance. Calculating superheat, actual suction line temperature minus dew temperature. Fine-tune the system for max performance. When the system is operating at max performance, TDX20 can significantly reduce amp draw and reduce energy consumption. If your superheat is too high, you will lose some capacity, and if it's too low, you can risk a washout. This is why it's critical to get it right. Once the conversion is complete, remember to label the unit and the compressor with the amount of refrigerant you've added. That's the entire process. So as you can see, installation was just that simple. Thank you very much for watching the video. Have a great day.